we'll just have to see how it goes. I have to keep one ear out. Oh, there's a hyena. I'm sure that's heard the commotion of the wild dogs and that's why this hyena is coming in. It's a very light colored hyena. Hello. And you can see it's going quickly and that's probably because it's heard the commotion of the dogs. Hyenas know when wild dogs are around, best to make hay and get there quite fast because, well, what happens when a wild dog is around is that generally stuff ends up being killed and hyenas then get a chance to be able to feed off it. So I'm just going to turn around. We'll follow the hyena for a bit. I don't want to follow, I can't follow it too far because the wild dogs are not that far away from where I am currently. But might as well just follow it for a little bit and just see where it goes. But you can see how quickly hyenas can cover ground. I'm not going exactly that slow and this hyena is still pulling away from me. So I'm going to try and just kind of get close enough to it. We'll have to just watch it for probably the next few minutes and then we'll have to leave it alone because the dogs are directly south of where I am at the moment and exactly where this hyena is going. It amazes me how good they are at picking up sound and being able to work out exactly where they need to go. It's an incredible trait that they've got. You know, for us as humans, we wouldn't obviously be able to hear the wild dogs from where we are now. We certainly wouldn't know that they were here, but this guy's obviously picked it up and is now running straight to where those dogs could potentially be, just in case there is a meal. So Crystal, you say that this particular hyena is called Hart and is one of Gwen's offsprings from February of 2015. Now you can see its nose is down, excuse me, and is still trotting around sniffing trying to work out. So now I think it's lost the scent and off it goes now back in the same direction we just came from. Excuse me, sorry, I don't know, something in the air this morning. but. It's interesting because it was heading directly towards where the wild dogs are, but now it's just on its own mission altogether. And I think what's happened is that this hyena has possibly picked up on the lion tracks from yesterday. Because the Inkahuma Pride, this is where they kind of came into Chitwe yesterday. But off it goes. It's going far too fast for me to keep up with. And so I'm going to probably just leave it there. Now, Becca...